Everything up and make sense soon. Make a bang it and put it over the wall. What a one pound, what a one. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, this is the moment that you have all been waiting for a more in depth skin routine regarding my bleaching and how I bleach and what I use. I did do a previous video on why I bleach and I also mentioned the products that I use but in this video I'm going to be doing like a little chit chat about my journey, the products that I use and how I use them. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. My name is Garde Philip. My little slogan is Wataguan Pa Wataguan. This is my new merch headband that you can purchase from my merch page, Garde Merch on Instagram. I will be uploading content on that page, but for right now, as I only have one item available, all my purchases will be made through DM and private message. So if you DM that page, you can purchase your own headband. There will be new colorways coming, baby pink and blue and red. So make sure you stay tuned for what is to come. If you saw the um, previous clip that was on my intro, I will not be including that in this video as I've already included it there. But let me just start by saying that clip is not in any way, shape or form a way to lighten your hands for the thousandth time. People get it wrapped up in their head that you can just rub a cream on and peel off your skin and your hands go lighter. That's not how it works. The only way you can lighten in, ter in terms of cream, the only way you can lighten is by rubbing and massaging your skin with bleaching elements or bleaching products. You cannot lighten your skin by peeling off the skin. What you are doing with that cream is you are literally burning if you want to call it burning you are burning all the dead skin off of your hand and you literally peel it off if you look at my hand my hand is the same complexion as my face and my body so you will know that i'm not trying to lighten my hand to make it lighter i was simply getting rid of the dark knuckles and the dark marks on my hands i mentioned in my previous video that i had burn marks on my hand when i was a teenager i used to self-harm i used to get um air freshener and burn holes into my hand literally and i had black marks all over my hand and just by my wrist so that also is one of the reasons why i chose to lighten my hands and lighten my arms as i said before I did start on my face, but when I saw what it could do for my face, I started using it on my body. In using it on my body, I got rid of all my self-harm marks, all the slices on my arm, all of the burn marks, all of the cuts and bruises, and I felt a lot happier. You lot may not understand that, you lot may suggest other remedies, but that was the remedy I chose. It is not, I personally don't see it as self-hate. I don't wake up in, I don't wake up and look in the mirror and say, oh my God, I feel dark today. I need to be lighter. No, I'm far from light skin. I don't categorize myself as light skin, lighty. I don't differentiate myself from black. I am black and I am all black and I'm into my black. I'm Jamaican, Bayesian, St. Kitts. I am where I come from and nobody can take that away from me. I would never ever want to be white. Let me just put that out there. So back to the hands, yeah? The product that I use is this. It is called La Bam Coise and it is a tamarind cream. If you know what tamarind is, black, like, in the Caribbean, it's like a sweet, sour kind of fruit, but they have somehow made a remedy which can burn up your hand and peel off all the dead skin. In the clip, the clip looks crazy because obviously the underneath layer of skin is much lighter than the skin that's actually peeling off. But what you don't need to understand is in, in, in your hand peeling off, all, all that is peeling off is dead skin. When you're peeling off a scab, it is not the same colour as your skin. It's like a greyish, brownish tone. So you've got to remember that was that clip was my hand peeling off. So yeah, that's all I want to say about the whole hand situation and you look coming for me on Twitter telling me about mental health and uh, listen, none of you lot frightened me. I chose to get rid of the dead skin on my hands. 
by using this, I didn't want to use any other remedy because I know how to do this and that was it. If you have the patience to sit down and peel the whole of your hand off, then go ahead. But if you're up and down and bum bum bum, do it bit by bit. But the reason why I was able to peel off the whole of my hand is because I wore gloves and I slept in it. I slept overnight in the gloves. That is why I was able to just peel off the skin so easily. So the cream literally soaked into my skin, went underneath, got rid of that layer, I peeled it off and boom. So let me get into my soap routine. I'm going to be talking about how I wash my face when I wake up or when I'm bothered to wash my face with the bleaching soaps. I don't have like a soap bag, but this is the soap that I use. If you can see it. This is a soap that I use for my face. The reason why I use this soap is because it is fast working and me, I personally, even if you was not someone that bleaches or lightens your skin, I personally would use this to get rid of dead skin. When I use this, my face goes so clear. And when I say clear, I'm not, I don't mean lighter. I mean my face literally goes clear. All of the dead cells and all of that come off of my face. Where I'm positioned right now is the sink is actually behind me, so I couldn't put the camera in that direction because it's too cramped so i'm actually sitting on my bathtub and i want to show you guys how i wash my face i'm going to show you guys how i wash my face using this soap obviously in the soap box it's a clear soap so there's not much to it so the reason why i've got this headband on is because i don't want to get my hair wet like I don't want to wear a do rag because I want to get I want to get here, but I don't want to get my hair wet. That's the only reason why I'm wearing a headband. So if you're wondering why is God um, wearing a headband when he's washing his face, it's because I don't want to wet the, the edge of my hairline because I want my waves to stay flat. And the only reason why I'm about to use my bathtub to wash my face is because the sink is in a cramped position. But I also want to show you guys how I wash my face. So I'm literally gonna wet this and then start and show you. So I lather this up in my hand. I don't really like to use a rag or anything like that because when you use a rag, you can't actually feel the, I feel like when I'm using my hand or my face in particular, not my body, when I'm using a rag on my face, I can't feel where the dirt or feel where the dead skin may be. And I feel like with my hand, I can actually scrub better but if I'm not using my hand, I do use the exfoliating gloves. I don't have them at the moment, but that is what I would use. So I would lather up my soap and I would rub this on my face like so. Yes, this is very, um, well, obviously my face isn't wet, wet. So while I'm rubbing this on my face, it is still not spreading as much as it would if this, if my hands were soaking wet or if I was right underneath the tap washing my face. But I like to lather up the soap. I like to lather up the soap. And rub it on my face. Before, obviously I have a lot of friends that are in like the beauty community and that do skincare. So when, just when I'm having conversations about what they use and how they maintain their skin, when they do wash their face with their preferred products, they do actually, um, they do actually say that like, if you haven't scrubbed hard enough, then you haven't washed your face. And that's how I feel. If I'm not rubbing my face like this, and sometimes I even get the soap as well and I rub it on my face so that the product goes into my beard because a lot of people that like bleach, they don't wash hair and I'm like, I'm not being funny, I don't care how much soap gets into my beard, my whole face needs to get washed. I'm not wasting the, like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to have hair all leveled out and then when this is shaved down, it's all discoloured, no. Now that my face is all lathered up and I've actually washed this in properly, I'm actually going to um, just rinse this off my face. So this is the perfect white soap. This is, this is the only soap that I use on my face. 
I have used like papaya soaps in the past, but I feel like those make my face go orange and I'm not trying to be lighter. I'm trying to maintain this skin complexion. So when I go on holiday, I do not use any bleaching um, products because you're not allowing your skin to naturally restore. It's, um, your skin is almost like a plant. So say you are a dramatic bleach, like say you bleach dramatically and you're trying to be white, yeah? And that's not what I'm trying to do. So if you're trying to do that, the products that I'm suggesting are not as intense as that. That's not what I'm trying to do. I am maintaining the skin complexion that I have right now. I'm not trying to get lighter. And I do feel like when you mention the word bleaching, people automatically associate with, associate it with lightening your skin, which it does indeed, but I am at, I'm obviously, if you look at my old pictures, I am predominantly lighter than I was. But if tomorrow none of these products were available, I'd have to live with it. And that's me being real. This is a lot of work. Sometimes I'm like, I can't be bothered. And then when I stop, I can see the difference. I can see the difference in my face compared to my body. And I'm like, no, I need to actually get back on my ship. These stuff are very, these stuff are not cheap. This is about seven pounds. So it's almost 10 pounds for this soap. I can finish this soap in two to three weeks because as you can see, I put a lot of product on my face. And then when you're using water and running this underneath the water, you're actually losing product as well. That's all I want to say about this soap. So I'm literally going to just wash this off and get back to you. Give me a second. So guys. As you can see, I've dried my face. My, my face is looking a bit pink because I didn't rub my face too hard. But I'm not worry about it too tough because when your face cools down, you'll go back to your skin, your skin complexion. So I'm going to go on to body soap and what I use on my body now. Um, obviously, I'm not going to bathe but because I've bathed already, but I'm just going to show you what I use on my face and how I use it. In my previous video, when I stated what I used, I was using a called Fair and White Whitenizer. I'm going to put an image to show you guys. That is the best thing to use, but unfortunately the shop that I get all my products from didn't have it and I wasn't gonna go and search around. I replaced it temporarily with this. It is called BioClear. With this, what I do is just my normal bathing routine. Rub it on my body, rub it on my underneath my arms, legs, blah de blah. Um, I prefer the Fit and White Whitenizer soap because it is kind of coarse. So not only does it cleanse the skin, but it goes deep into your pores and it works properly. As I said already, if you're not trying to lighten your skin, but you're just trying to get a clear complexion and get rid of any dark marks or any um, black dots on your face, I would recommend these three, these three soaps. You could use any of them on your body or your face, whichever is best for you. But the reason why I use the Fit and White one is because it's more coarse. And when I'm rubbing it on my body, I feel like it's actually working. And then when I look at my skin, once I've dried off, I'm happy with the results. Onto lotioning and creaming my skin daily. Okay, now every auntie, uncle, black person should know that the product that everybody knows that is most popular, that is illegal, whatever you want to call it, is Caro White. I do not use Caro Light. I feel like it doesn't work. I would rather stick to the original. I have two Caro White jars and the reason is because this one is for my face which is a lighter mixture. I mix this with a cream called Nepazone Gel Forte and also Civic Cream. If you was to buy this by itself, 
just like the soaps if you was to use the soaps by itself without using anything else it will give you a clear complexion it will not lighten your skin and that's how i feel it is with this when i use this when i didn't know what i was doing and i just found this in my friend's house when i, when I was staying over and i used this product i felt like this didn't give me a lighter complexion it just cleared my it just made my skin very clear but it also made me very orange i feel like when you use this by itself it gives you an orangey looking complexion and i didn't like that i was thinking why am i looking orange so i what i do is for my face i would take two to three scoops out of this and then i will mix it with one of these and mix it with half of this this is almost like an activator so if you were to use this by itself it could potentially peel off your skin just like the um just like the first just like the tamarin that i showed you but it's not as strong it's like a, it's a gel as i as i already mentioned it can only peel off little maybe little scabs or one, a, a little dark marked area but i wouldn't recommend putting this on your face by itself so maybe squeeze half of this or whole of it into a large tub of one of these the large tub is for my face because i use majority of cream on my face i'm not really a person that creams their body quite often being real with you guys my legs are always fully covered no particular reason I, i've got skinny legs so i don't really like to show my legs too tough that's the only reason why my legs are always covered so i don't feel like i need to cream that much with this one this is a smaller jug this is about 10 pounds no this is about 12 pounds so the small one's about 12 pounds and this one is at 15 to 18 pounds but this one is quite thick and i put two tub two tubs of each the nepazone and the civic in this and mix it with the caro and it makes it really strong so that when i'm rubbing it on my body and i and i put on my clothes it just does the job and I don't have to worry about um, I don't have to worry about going back and topping up whereas on my hands I do use this here and there but with your hands it's a bit difficult because if you're a bit of a not clean freak but if you're a bit funny about where you put your hands um, I wash my hands quite regularly so in washing my hands quite regularly I tend to wash off the product so I have to keep topping up so I top up my hands with the stronger product because when you're out in the Sun your hands will tan obviously my whole body is covered so my body may not tan as much as when your hands are just out in the open yes you can use sunscreen but I, I use sunscreen sometimes and I use that as well with this one I keep this with me all the time because anywhere i go i sweat my face sweats i need to um i might go in the shower if i'm not staying at home i'll go in the shower i want to i want to wash my face and then i might want to put this back on again if you look at my previous videos from maybe two to three months ago you will see that my skin is blotchy and quite pitchy patchy and that is because I wasn't doing anything with my skin I was just letting my skin breathe have a breather so in the comments if you look at my previous videos in the comments people will ask what's going on with his skin why does his skin look so patchy blah 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 it's because I wasn't using anything I wasn't using any soaps or creams so people was thinking why does your skin look like that what's going on but obviously over time when you um, get back into your routine your skin starts to come together again. So I'm literally gonna just show you now how I would apply the um, how I would apply the cream onto my face. As I said to you before, with this cream, it's already mixed. So what I will do, what I would normally do, is use this. I would get obviously I'm at my desired skin complexion, so I'm not trying to be lighter. I'm not trying to get white. I'm not trying to be pale or any of a kind I'm literally just maintaining the complexion that I have already so I will literally get that much mix it with the civet cream and put it in my hand the civet cream is a white cream so um, when you squeeze it out you need to be careful 
so that your face doesn't come out with white stuff on it. So I'll literally rub it in like that and then dab it on my face. Yes, you will find that, obviously when you're a boy, you will find that these products do tend to go in your beard, but that doesn't really bother me when I, I can actually look in the mirror, because the mirror is at an angle that I can't really see. But when I can actually look in the mirror, I'll wipe off all the white residue and all the creams. So I've literally just used the Caro, mixed a bit of the Civic in it and put it on my face. Now I will use the Civic by itself just a small bit, I don't use a lot, I'll use the Civic by itself and I will just rub it a small bit like that on my face because you can't put too much of this on your face because it will give you a white residue and if you put this on as a paste it will burn your skin so do be careful. Some of these products are a bit deceiving, they may, they may feel like they're, um, they may feel like they don't do no harm, they may feel like your skin, you, you might have strong skin and your skin might not tingle but if you put quite a lot on your face, you will feel a tingling to burning sensation, not tingling to burning feeling on your face, not sensation. Now I'm going to use this, Nepazone. People have reached out to me and said that they use the Nepazone but it's not working but they said that they're using the cream and as I've said to you already, none of these products you should find on the shelf. The only sh products that you should find on the shelf are the two soaps that I showed you guys. These are the only products that you should find on the shelf. None of these should be on the shelf. If they're on the shelf, they're fake. And if they have a scent to it, they're fake. So please do not waste your money in these shops because these products cost a good amount of money like I spend a good 60 to 70 pound on my products by choice so please don't come and tell me I'm wasting my money my donut my money I'm bleaching my, my mental health issues please do not tell me nothing so I'm literally just getting the gel and just rubbing it on my face obviously I'm not using bare because I'm not trying to be lighter I'm just trying to maintain my skin complexion and you've got to remember that all these parts need to be like all in my beard. I have to rub in my beard because I don't want inside my beard to be discoloured and uneven. So as you look, may see, my face has gone slightly pink. That is not because my face is burning. That is because I've literally... I don't normally do this all in one go, I'm only doing it in one go to show you guys but normally when I do wash my face, I let my face cool off, then I chill for a bit, then I will use the cream or sometimes I don't wash my face with this, these products, then I'll just use the cream by itself. So, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to briefly tell you lot how I use the cream on my body. Obviously, as I said before, the cream on my body is a lot thicker and a lot more product is inside it. So when I'm using it on my body, it's more powerful and it does make me quite hot sometimes, depending on what I wear, and it, it will make you sweat. The body mixture, the body mixture that I use is a lot stronger than the face mixture because I'm not your your face is a lot more sensitive than your body, and you do have like dark areas. Some people have dark areas like their elbows, so you will mix a stronger mix. So I'm literally gonna get a chunk and show you guys. And guys, make sure that you close the container every time you finish using it because your cream will go hard and then it will go off and then you can't use it. I literally will get a mix big chunk like that obviously I'm only I would use a lot more than that but I'm just showing you guys what I would do obviously it is mixed but sometimes I like with my body I don't mind it being quite strong because my body doesn't burn I don't get no marks on my body so I'll get like a big chunk like that or sometimes even more and I'll squeeze the clear nepazone gel onto it I will also squeeze the civic cream onto it so my hand will be looking like that. I rub it in and I rub it on my body like so. Remember guys, when you are doing this, you've got to make sure you get all the parts of your body. You can't be doing this to your face. You can't give your face, but even if you're not bleaching, you can't give your face a routine and not 
care about your neck and for, for men if you're going to be if you're growing your beard or if you do shave you do need to maintain underneath here for non bleachers if you're going to maintain your face you need to maintain your neck your body your everywhere you need to maintain it you can't you can't be a handsome face or a pretty face and not maintain your body and if you're someone that is insecure about maybe stretch marks or marks try there are different ways like bio oil um like re rejuvenation creams and collagen creams that to give to give you and give your body that plumping that you desire so i literally will rub it in like that and obviously as i said already the civet cream does have a white residue but the more of the other products that you put in you it will not show up on your um show up on your body or on your clothes so just be careful and also with my hands i will get another chunk another chunk like so i only use that for my hands sometimes i don't want to use the nepazone cream i rub it in like that and i'll just rub my hands like this I rub my hands like this. Sometimes it is difficult. If you're going out that day, sometimes it is difficult to rub this in and then keep the product on your hands because as I said already, I like my hands to be clean. I like my nails to be clean. So I wash my hands quite regularly throughout the day when I'm eating food, when I'm going out with my friends, when I'm entering somebody's house, I make sure I wash my hands. So if you're not doing that, then you need to figure your shit out. And also, if you have like, if you're a person that cleans, if you clean a lot, if you if you are a cleaner, if you use bleaching products, your hands do go darker naturally. Like, if you're using ble if you're a dark person and you're using bleaching products, the bleaching products can discolor your hands. So if you decide, yeah, I want to. Um, just get rid of the dark knuckles. I've, it, say you're going into a different field of work and you're no longer going to be cleaning and you want to get rid of the dark knuckles or dark marks. You, it's okay to use the tambourine cream. Don't let nobody come try to tell you, oh, you're lightning. Because I'm, if you can see, I'm not, my hands are not light. They're not light. But in the clip, it, the difference is because the, the, the peeling off, the peeled off skin is dead skin. Okay, so that is all for my skin routine how i wash my face how i cream my face and how i cream my body and the amounts that i use and how it's meant to look obviously i do have a routine when i'm going to bed but i will not be including that in this video but what i will say is i went to um a super drug event and one of the pr people did suggest this cream to me and it is called naturally radiant renewing night cream and it looks like this don't know if you can see it naturally radiant um night cream renewing night cream and with this it literally plumps up your skin it plumps up your skin it's like so when I go to bed and I put this on and I don't put no bleaching products on, it plumps up your skin, it brightens your skin and it gets rid of all the little scabs and marks that may have been on your face or the dead skin that may be on your face. It gets rid of all that and your skin, when you wake up, your skin is nicely moisturised and bright. I'm at a stage in my life where what I do in the public will get scrutiny. I will... I will not hear the last of it when it comes to bleaching and I know that when I posted that clip I knew what was going to come I knew the backlash that it would get that is okay this is my choice when you see me in person a lot of people say to me when they see me in person they can't tell it's like I just look normal but as I'm sitting in front of you now there's a big ring light in front of me there's no natural light to actually show you what my skin complexion looks like. And that's not me justifying that bleaching is okay, but a lot of people say to me, oh, you are, um, you are gray and that's fine. There are times where I might overdo it and I might look pale, that is okay, but this is my journey. The reason why I've done this video is because people have asked me so many times, Gale, what is this that you use for this? 
what is this, what you use for this? And people are not trying to lighten their skin. Sometimes they just want to get rid of maybe a maybe their dark elbows. They might want to get rid of a scab on their knee. There's so many reasons. And instead of going to a dermatologist, which I will recommend first, or going to a doctor is what I would recommend first. If that is not what you want to do and you want to go the quick route, quick route, that's what I did. I've been doing this since I was 17, 18. I've burnt my face. I've gone too light. I've, um, I've sometimes tanned and not bothered. Like, I've done everything. But now that I'm choosing to just do this right now, you can't tell me nothing. Um, to the mums out there, I'm, you're saying that I'm promoting self-hate. You're saying that I'm promoting not loving your skin. That is your view. That is okay. You can say that, but don't project that on me because when I was 18, all my, there are aunts in my family that bleach. And did I even know? Could I even tell? When they was rubbing creams on their skin, I didn't even know. I didn't urge to do it. It wasn't a family member that um, inspired me. It wasn't one of my parents that inspired me. My mum is, my mum is dark. My mum is a dark black woman and I love my mum's skin complexion. I, my mum is a beautiful, black woman my dad is a brown brown skinned man but that his complexion did not push me no one in my family's complexion did not push me and if you feel like there is not a celebrity that i look at and i think wow you're so light skinned you're so no that was never ever the case for me and Yes, not everybody's like that. There are people that want to go on TV and make themselves look like a fucking idiot because they're sitting there saying that light is better and light is this and their face is caramel and their hands look like look like dotted black bag. Like, no, that's not what I'm trying to put out there. I'm not trying to broadcast um, having a pretty face or having a light face. That's not what I'm trying to broadcast. If you look on my Snapchat, if you look at the, the snaps that I post, I barely ever use a filter. I barely ever, if you look at all my pictures, I barely ever, my pictures are not lightened at all. That whatever you, the, the complexion that you see in the picture is the complexion that I am when I took the picture. At the end of the day, I'm black. No, my skin complexion has not got me higher than where I am because I've worked for where I've, where I've got to right now. I've worked for it. Nobody's given me, nobody's given me anything. Nobody's approached me because, oh my God, you're so handsome. Nobody's approached me for none of those reasons. Nobody's approached me because of my face, because of my complexion, nothing like that. I never surrounded myself with a bunch of white people and then thought, oh my God, I need to be lighter to fit in. Never have, was that ever the case. Once I started, I saw that it got rid of all my marks. It saw, I saw that it got rid of my self-harm bruises. And I, it almost, like, I almost feel like a new person. As crazy as that might sound to people, that is what it is. Like, I used to cut up my arm because I thought that people hated me. I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to, like, I didn't want to be in this world. And then once I got through and built my confidence back up, I'm sitting there with all these bruises. I didn't want, I feel like a brand new person. Sometimes I don't even want to identify myself with the person from my past because there was a time where I was low. There was a time where I was like, fuck this, I don't want to be in this world no more. There was a time where that's how I felt. So you can sit here and be like, oh, whatever, here we go. But it is what it is. I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching this video. I know that not everyone is going to agree with this video, but this is my journey and this is my YouTube channel. You people always DM me telling me that they love how honest I am and how raw I am. And I'm the type of person that I like to own my shit before anybody comes and says, God, if it looks like he does this, God, if it is this, or God, if it is that, I will tell you first. I feel like this, is as far as I would go when it comes to bleaching. I'm not going to encourage completely destroying or killing all of your skin cells to be white when you are black. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. When other people record me, it may look like I am lighter. They may even swipe and put a filter on if it's me and them, and I might look white as hell, but 
listen, trust me, if you was to meet me in person, you'd be like, oh, okay. I'm not saying that that justifies what I'm doing. I'm just saying that to say it. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And if you have your own um, remedies or suggestions, please comment below your views and how you would feel. Please do not come in my comments, come and try running up your mouth because the block button ain't far away. Every social media platform has got a block button. It's not an issue, but yeah. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you to all my subscribers. We are on our road to 9k, soon 10k and thank you so much guys for watching this video and thank you for supporting me this far. I know that some people will not agree with this and they may stop watching my videos but I'm not going to make this channel about bleaching and be promoting bleaching 24-7. This is the only video I will be doing on a skin routine and how I maintain my skin and that is where I'm going to leave it. So thank you for watching guys. Wata guampa, wata guampa.